What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. On the video today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to cut a face frame. Also a little bonus, I'm going to show you guys how to remove some bulk from thick hair using the tri razor. So I'm going to walk you guys through it step by step. Also on the last video, I said I was going to give away a tri razor to one of you lucky subscribers on here. So let's go through, let's pick somebody right now. All right. So to pick our winner for the tri razor, all I'm going to do is scan through your comments real quick, and then we're going to select somebody from random. So here we go. And the winner is Rich and Sue Meyer uh, says, I've been a subscriber and love watching your videos. You're a great teacher and I'm so excited to own the tri razor. What a cool tool. Thanks for all you do. Well, here you go, Rich and Sue. Thank you so much for being a subscriber for so long. Uh, all you got to do is email me, Matt, at freesaloneducation.com. Uh, just put that you're the tri razor winner, put your name, address, and phone number, and we will get that out to you as soon as they start shipping December 21st. So be on the lookout. It's on its way. You could be the next winner of a tri razor. So make sure that you comment that you're a subscriber below and definitely subscribe to the channel, like this video, and and share it with all of your hairdresser friends out there. Now, I don't want to waste any more time. I want to get right into this haircut. Let's get started. Here we go. All right, guys, so we're going to start off the uh, cut today with sectioning. Sectioning is the most important thing that you can do because it's really mapping out uh, the technique that you're going to be working with, really understanding the head shape of the guest, uh, analyzing the hairline, uh, calyx, all of that stuff. So as we plan it out, uh, we take a parting straight down the center, and then I section out the fringe area. So we're going to be cutting into that later. And the way that I look at this is I try to separate uh, from the hairline up and around. So when you look at that little triangle section that I created in the front, it really comes from that point um, where the hairline is on the head. And then I wrap it around and then I twist up that section and kind of uh, just section it away with a clip. And then I'm going to work into the back. So I go almost high point of the head. And I separate the front and the back uh, to, to really section those off. The reason I like to do this, and I've talked about it in quite a few videos at this point, uh, but this might be the first video you're watching. Uh, as I section it off, the reason I separate the front and the back is because the densities are so different. Look at the amount of hair uh, in that front portion of the section as opposed to the hair that's in the back. Um, so I really just want to separate those so I know what density I'm working with, when I'm going to move up in the hairline, and that's just the basic sectioning that I like to do. So now in the uh, crown area, we're going to section off a triangle shape. So I draw a diagonal back line, and then I do the same thing on the left-hand side, another diagonal back line. They meet in the middle right at the occipital bone, and then I pull that hair up. Uh, and clip that away. And we're gonna cut that triangle section later. And I'm gonna show you guys a really cool texturizing technique using the tri razor. All right, so as I finish up my triangle section in the crown area, just notice that, you know, the line was fine, but it wasn't quite clean enough. So I just take that extra second to then adjust it and make sure that I have clean partings and clean sections within this cut. It helps keep me organized, it helps keep uh, me going through, keeps me consistent throughout the cut. So you can see there is my sectioning. And now this is the tri razor. This is how you switch the blades out. You just pop that top off and uh, you can swap out the blades. It's super, super simple. Uh, and now we're gonna start our cut. We're gonna use the 100% cutting side on the tri razor and I'm just gonna slide through it. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna create um, just nice soft layers. So I start in the mid shaft and I slide through the ends. Uh, working my way out to the ends. I don't just slide straight down. I kind of glide out a little bit. And what that does is creates that layering. Now, if you want shorter layers, obviously you just start a little bit higher up. If you wanted longer layers, you start further down. It's a pretty simple process to go through. And I'm bringing every section straight back to me, cutting a nice balanced shape in the back with the layering. And now I'm just gonna pinch cut some of the ends uh, just to soften that. I'm gonna go through and cut the ends a little bit later as well, but I just like to see kind of where we're at with the balance of the uh, haircut. So 100% cutting side, the tri-razor has three different 
uh, cutting sides. So it has a hundred percent cutting side and then two texturizing sides. One takes out 25% of the hair and one takes out 50%. It's just a uh, really versatile tool being able to just kind of flip it and then take out different amounts of weight, which you're going to see right here. This is a really fun technique that I do with the tri razor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out this section. I take the 25% side, I take out 25% of the hair, and then I glide through and cut a line. So I'm taking it just a little bit above uh, where that mid shaft area is. I glide the 25%, which reduces the weight, adds some texture, and then I switch to the 100% side, and then I cut my line to match up with the lengths that I'm working with in the cut. So just a really fun way to, uh, to go through and texturize your haircuts. So same thing, 25%, slide it through. See how easy it glides through the hair. And then at the very end, I just take off that, uh, the rest of the length using the 100% cutting side. So now look at those layers popping in the back. Uh, it's you know just really, really fun, fast way to cut hair. Now we're gonna work uh, with a center parting and we're gonna create a face frame on this cut. So I wanted this one to have kind of a curtain fringe or a nice open feel to the haircut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the hair in front of the face off to the one side and then I'm gonna start cutting my line. I'm gonna leave some length in the front. Uh, we're not really going for a, to a total fringe in this haircut. And then once I have my guideline, I just slide it through. So the blades are so sharp that we have in the tri razor um, that you can just slide it. You don't even have to carve and, and kind of chop at it. You can really just slide. Once you have your line, you put the razor where you want it and you glide it through and you get a nice soft line on any texture of hair. You can uh, cut, slide just like that through it. So same thing on the opposite side. We take a little piece as our guideline and then we just work our way. So we're pulling the hair uh, from the left side of the head over to the right side and cutting it and sliding through. So you can see all the layers that we created with very little effort. Now I'm gonna go in with Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear. Uh, this is volumizing whip. Uh, just to pop some volume in there, nice light hold feel to it. I'm using the Ergo Diamond Head Brush, uh, which is my favorite mini paddle brush. We have it available on Shop FSE, which is our store, or go to freesaloneducation.com and hit the shop, uh, and you can pick up the tri razor, the Ergo brushes, the combs, the clips, everything I'm using in this. Uh, and now we're just going to go through with a little hot off the press. Once I get uh, the blow dry going, I get about 80% dry. I like to go in with a thermal protectant uh, hairspray and I spray that over before I do my iron work. Um, using some Dyson tools, you guys will have uh, tons of questions about that. I'm sure it's a cordless uh, flat iron from Dyson. It's called the Corral. Uh, I'm using that to just iron this out. Um, really love this iron for longer hair. Um, I've definitely found that uh, with shorter hair, it's a little bit harder to get in those tight spots. So I like using this on longer hair. It's got beautiful plates in it. Uh, they flex and move and kind of form to the hair. Uh, and just, you know, full disclosure, Dyson sent me this iron. It's, it's a little bit pricier iron. They sent it to me for free. Uh, I did some sponsor videos with it. Now I'm just using it because I enjoy it in certain uh, cases. Uh, this is not a sponsored video by them. But yeah, definitely a, a really nice iron. We also have some new dry hair cutting clips. You can see right there. Those are available on our shop as well. You can pick up, I believe it's a four pack of them. Um, they don't crease the hair when you're using them in dry hair. That's kind of the whole purpose. When you put a regular clip in with a lot of tension, it'll put a crease in the hair. So it just kind of helps with that. I really love those clips. So check out the FSE uh, dry cutting clips. Uh, and they're also made of all metal, which is really nice as well. Sometimes those dry cutting clips or those dry clips are um, made of like a plastic. So it's kind of cool. Uh, so see, I go in. Now I'm using a scissor to get a nice blunt edge on the bottom. That's a preference. Uh, it doesn't, you don't have to do that. But for me, I just liked having that nice clean line at the bottom. So a razor creates a really soft line, which is great for texture, great for, you know, movement. And a scissor just creates that blunt edge, nice clean uh, appearance to the hair. So the combination of the two tools work really well together. 
Now I'm going in with my 50% texturizing side and I just attack those little weight areas to remove some of that bulk from the very bottom of the hair. You can see how easy that 50% cutting side glides through the hair. So now we're gonna go in with Invisible Wear Undone Texture Hairspray. This is by Paul Mitchell as well. And I'm just going to use it just to define the front of the hair. Look at that beautiful face frame that we created with the razor. Just by sliding it through, gliding it through the hair, no effort whatsoever. Really, really fun tool. This is my new favorite thing to cut hair with. And obviously we built it from scratch, so uh, it's gonna be my favorite anyways. But uh, if you're looking to order one, they're available worldwide right now for $44.95 uh, on our online store, shopfse.com. So go get your Tri Razor. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and uh, there's our end result. All right, guys, and like always, if you like this video, then make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure that you share this video with all of your hairdresser friends out there. And if you are a subscriber, type subscriber right now in the comments. You could have a chance to win your very own tri razor. And if you wanna just go pick one up, you don't wanna wait to win, then go to shopfse.com. That is our website. We're accepting worldwide pre-orders right now. Just go to shopfse.com. We start shipping December 21st. So coming up, thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next video. So everything you saw me use on this video today, you can purchase on our online store, freesaloneducation.com. I really appreciate the support of you guys ordering on there. Uh, you can get the tri razor, you can pick up combs, you can pick up scissors. We have everything. We even have payment plans for scissors uh, to make it easier for you guys to purchase them. And we also have a stylus locator. So you just click stylus locator. If you're looking for a new stylus, type in your zip code, and then it will come up with all the stylists that use our app that train with free salon education and if you see a blue check mark by somebody's name that means that they train with me on a weekly basis on our virtual cutting club so uh, definitely give them a shout to get your hair done thank you guys so much for watching